We're gonna do a little game, okay? We're gonna call this. Oops! Press the wrong button. Oh! Oops! My leg. Press the wrong button. Greetings, fellow adventurers. This is Vin Sharon with Multi Kyoto, and today we are taking a look at Oogie Boogie. It's a ghost Oogie guy. I don't even know who it is. Boogie. I think it's from Nightmare Before Christmas. I think Tim Burton movie, something like that. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure this is what this is. So I'm outside his mansion today, and I'm Johnny Ghost, Paranormal Investigator Extraordinaire, and I'm here looking for a cure for my ailed friend who happens to be a werewolf still currently, which is not good for social gatherings. Last time I tried to take him to a kid's birthday party, the bite of 87 happened, which is not really something you want to have happen. So I'm here at this ancient doctor's facility, and he says he has the cure, so I'm going to find out if he has the cure. That's what I said. All right. <laughs> Ding dong. That sounded actually very realistic. I'm actually really happy about that sound effect. Hello! Oh, he hello! Hello, good, shadowy sir! My name is Johnny hello. Ghost, Panel Investigator Extraordinaire. You probably heard about me. I don't know, I don't go out mu- <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, hello, good sir! Hello, you shadowy self! I'm Johnny Ghost, Panel Investigator Extraordinaire. You probably heard about me! Oh, I don't know! I don't go out- Hello! <laughs> oh, hello! Tell you me. shadow yourself! I am Johnny oh, Ghost, random investigator extraordinaire! You probably heard about me! I think I have now! Done! <laughs> what is, why hello! Is, why do the doors auto close? Who has automatic doors oh, on the mansion? Alright, um. Oh, hello! In. Whoa! Uh. Nice to see you. I don't get much company. Um, what? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I'm not! You look like a sack of potatoes! That's what are you wearing? Um, a potato sack. Why? <laughs> I thought you said you uh, were a scientist! I test it with the potatoes! Uh, oh, okay. I guess, I guess you can dress up in your own mansion with, um, blood on the walls. Oh, that can be explained. Yeah, can you explain the big old, um, get out on the wall up here? Did you just take a picture of my home? I'm just taking it for evidence in case the police, you know, That's, interview uh, me. My uh, coat to the fleas. Okay, so you wrote to get out to the fleas in blood. in blood. No, it's uh just uh hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce isn't red. It is sometimes. Okay. I guess we can go with it. We'll go with that. Alright, so can you please show me to your um scientific laboratory sure. where you're making the I know cure? Where that because is. I, I told you on the phone it wasn't actually a phone, you actually made me send you an actual letter, snail mail. It took oh, three months, yeah. but I told you about my friend, you know, the the more handsomer one. Um, remember I told you about him, and he had a small problem because he got bit by a werewolf, and he is now currently, you know, he turns a little hairy every night, and that, you know, I'm just... Did you try feeding him potatoes? Oh, uh, wrong room, not that one. It's this way! Whoa! What? 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 What is? That can be explained. It's uh, my hot sauce factory. No, no, there was a, there was a skull. There was a floating skull. And is so that George Bush? Is that is that old man Bush? You yes. got a picture of old man Bush. I'm a fan. <laughs> I've been to all of his concerts. Are you okay? I'm fine. Continue on. I'm, I'm good. I'm great. I really need to get the doors. Um. Out. Oh well, this room actually looks somewhat normal, which for you. Of course. Is, um, of course. Also, you would you run? You look amazing. Oh, this looks like the wrong room again. Well, uh, um, here's some of my scientific work. Um, sir, I'm going to have to ask you a simple question. Are you a ghost? 
Maybe. Okay. Why would you contact me? Why would you tell me you had a cure for my friend? You're that would be like a criminal contacting the police and asking him over for pancakes. I figured you wouldn't suspect anything. You're running around in a sack of potatoes that you cut out a shape of a face in. Your house has floating skeletons and some sort of lava pit in the upstairs bedroom. It's a hot sauce factory. I'm sorry, but that's the worst excuse I've ever heard. That it's is literally I, uh, a worse excuse uh, than that little garden gnome telling me he was the friend of a little redhead girl from the wasteland. Okay, now that was a bad excuse, but no! I am not buying the whole hot sauce factory thing ever, okay? So I'm Please sorry, but I'm going to have to write you up. I'm going to have to write you up for, you know, disturbing the peace, considering you are literally haunting a mansion right now. But it is my home! It is not your home. This home belongs to a scientist. I am the scientist! All right, fine. What's the scientist's name? John... The Hundred. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what's... What's more <laughs> stupid. <laughs> the fact that... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that his name is John Hundred? <laughs> or the fact you think that would work? But it's not? No, it is. But it's still not going to work. I know you're a ghost. At least try my cure on your friend. Uh oh. I'm s okay, why would I do that? Because I have it right here. Okay, don't crouch. Please, whatever happened right now, don't do, don't do that. Don't, what? Those are not legs. I'm sorry, those are not legs. You look like a walking, floated diaper. Hey, you look like a two-year-old. Like, literally took a okay, crap that's in that's you. Like you. And you're walking around yours. Where are you going? Casting a spell on you? Would you? I can't. I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta get out of here. That's not a door. Can I get out? Why do you have the? It's a dead end. Oh, 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 oh. But no, you can't leave me in here. Don't leave me in here. You will be trapped forever, forever, forever. Um, I could just walk down to, back Where? downstairs to the door. You know, I'm pretty sure that works. Or I could investigate the building. Don't touch the pool table. Why? What happens if I touch it? It gets touched. Whoa! Hey, you can move it. This is awesome! Move it! Hey, hang on! Hey, hey, dude, come in here! I got an idea! I got I an don't idea! Want to play! Dude! 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 What? Okay, go stand go stand on the other side. We're gonna do a little game, okay? We're gonna call this Oops, press the wrong button! Oh! Oops! My leg! Press the wrong button! You killed me, and I'm not oh. even living. I'm happy with that. I am really happy with that. I'm not. All right, so basically your building is completely terrifying and nightmares for and now days. And I will haunt you for Oh, it. good. It's a hot sauce factory. What in the world? You have a portal to the underworld in your If you jump house. in there, it's happy. Oh, I bet it's happy. I bet it's just as happy as a pull table to the face. Well. Uh, okay, did you actually have a cure? I'm pretty much convinced you don't not here what is what is going on in here nothing 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 is going on here why is I'm it going into my back garden oh it's a garden is it let's see what the garden, garden looks garden. like let's see what the garden looks like this I is a would. rusty room this is your this no, is a no 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 this this is this is not a garden this is disturbing you have graves on your public property which is actually possibly illegal in city limits I think what? I like keeping my family close to me Do kids actually trick or treat to this house one That's like a health, that's like 87 health code violations literally in that one sentence and I lit I just said that sentence now I feel like a you health code violation myself jail. You can't have these in your backyard the, real people aren't buried here right Of course where I was buried. No, oh my gosh. No. No, okay, you know what? I actually feel so bad for you. I actually feel so bad for you because You'll you are such a, a pathetic hug? excuse for a ghost. I'm actually thinking about just turning around and walking back out of the building and just pretending I didn't uh, actually see anything. You don't want to see my box collection? No, I, I don't even want to know. You have literal dead people buried in the backyard. Do you realize this house is actually in city limits? 
Do you realize an 82-year-old woman lives literally 50 yards in that direction? Do you realize this? Uh, I don't go outside much. I can... Guess why? Guess why? You're dead! People you, are, you are literally a ghost, and you are literally haunting an actual haunted mansion. And it is my job as a panel investigator extraordinaire to get you out of public well, I, property. I don't know where to This go. house is not even licensed to you anymore. I'm pretty sure they want to tear down this house. I would tear down this house. You give me a shovel and about 24 hours, and I would tear apart this house would you for you. Me? I might need a bulldozer or some sort of help because I, you know, I'm having like a little bit of upper back problems. But I would try, and and it's the thought that counts. I read that on Hallmark card once, but so it has to be true. Try home. If, well, you are proving that you obviously have killed some people and buried them in the backyard. That's not exactly your home, no, is it? I've just lived here for a long time. Oh, really? A long time? Well, please explain to me the blood everywhere. Oh, there's a new one. Wait, what? A new, a new what? Dead people. Wait, what? Oh, what? What? How are you doing that? No. I collect new ones. You're a grave bender. A what? A grave bender. I knew it. I think there's been a grave mistake. I think you might be the Avatar. Oh, you were found out. No, not the Fire Nation. How did I guess Johnny Ghost would be in the Fire Nation? <laughs> Actually, makes sense. Anyway, wh where are you going? You d can't get away with it. I'm, I'm going to check what's in here. I bet there's more terrible things in here. Oh, no. Or nothing. That's that's even worse, because I came back here and checked, even though there's nothing. Why are there gravestones <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> all right, fine. I'm going to uncover your evil deeds. I'm going to find out once and for all. What in the world? It is a box collection. I thought it's you were joking. It's a box collection. I thought you were joking. No one actually has a box collection. They well, some people probably do. Friends. I'm sure there's someone that collects boxes. Um, they become my friends. Okay, um, I'm going to need to ask you to open up one of these boxes for me. No, they're my friends. No, I just need to open one. I just need to make sure there aren't, like, human remains in the boxes. It's just my job as a paranormal investigator extraordinaire. Okay. Uh, it's empty. It's moderately empty. Hmm. Okay, well, all that was... There's a skull in there! I was saving it. I told you there's a... You are under uh, arrest. You I didn't put do your hands anything. up. This, this is Johnny Ghost, Paranormal Investigator Extraordinaire. You are hereby uh, under uh, arrest by the local uh, authorities of Little Butts, North Carolina. Where are you going? Home. What do you mean, home? What is this? Home. I'm not sure I want to go down there. Ah, what the heck. Ugh. Am I alive? Maybe. I'm alive! I'm alive and I'm trapped in a pit. Why? You told hey. me I would... <sighs> Now what? You're trapped in my... What uh, is this place? Secret... N nowhere. What? I, I can this, see There's you. literally nothing down here! Oh, I missed. What? Are you shooting at me right now? Oh, no! I'm... Oh! <laughs> Oh. Wow. Um, case closed. Uh, mission over. Johnny Ghost just killed a ghost. He just <laughs> killed something that was already dead with a gun that shoots <laughs> actual bullets. You weren't a real ghost, were you? I'm a ghost. Well, now, obviously. <laughs> You're a ghost now. I can still hear you. Excuse but you me. weren't a ghost, were you? You were just an insane man who thought himself a ghost. You thought you were haunting a house, but no. You were alone in a house by yourself with nothing but your box collection. But a portal opened to the underworld, and the spirits <laughs> told you to do bad things. And you did bad things, and you buried them in the backyard. But now, Johnny Ghost has righted the wrongs. He has brought you to justice. And now, Johnny Ghost has been given his one final wish to be able to fly like the birds on high and here he goes look at him soaring through the air Johnny Ghost now flutters like a sparrow he is a sparrow a small <laughs> sparrow a beautiful ghosty sparrow and now he's trying to find his way out oh and he does he finds his way out of the house such ends the story of this mansion and the man who lived here who was insane and You're was insane. shot <laughs> 
by Johnny Ghost, who can now fly like a sparrow. So Johnny Ghost can fly like a little bird. He has little bird wings now coming out of his <laughs> temples. And he can Yippee! fly. He's like... Yep. He's like... <laughs> You've lost it. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> he's like Cupid. <laughs> Literally, Johnny Ghost has become Cupid. <laughs> he has taken the position Good. of Cupid. So now, Johnny Toast is a werewolf, and Johnny Ghost is Cupid. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, you still any guns? Well, ugh. It's illegal to have firearms within city limits. You're welcome. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I'm, I'm a paid professional. I'm, uh, I'm licensed. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. That's all for this time. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.